Mid-handicap golfers around the world often spend a fortune on losing expensive golf balls. Could this be the other option? Aha. Uh -huh. Let's do it. Let's do it now. Do you like that one? Very clever. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. Guys, first things first, I'd like to briskly welcome Mark to the channel. It was really warm this morning and now it's got quite cool. It's we nice always day. give the weather update for some strange reason. Dave's doing some work. Look, we always get Dave on doing some work, watering the tea even though it's been raining. Yep. Mark, how are you? I'm very well, thanks James. You? Very good. Mark, Excellent. you've played some really good golf today so far. Oh, Mark Spriggs, that is filthy. We've done a couple of videos. We have, yes. And we said that so many people use golf balls that maybe are too expensive for them for how many to lose? They might be too expensive for them. Yes, yes, probably given the number of shots that you lose, the balls that you lose, yeah. um, you want as cheap a ball as possible that gives you the confidence to play yeah. it. So you would right. usually use a Titleist Pro V1X, you were fitted for that's it, right, you yes. like them. The Pro V1X, I You can like pay it. up to £49 a dozen they for them. It can be expensive. Yep. Yes, so what's true. this we've got? Well, this is a ball called the Uther. Or is they it? You might want to call it the other, yep. but as far as I'm concerned, that spelling is Uther. And just spin it round for me. Check that out. So that's got to be a lucky ball. We've got a four leaf clover on there. So they do nine different variations of these logos. Yes. So I'll yeah. put these on screen now so you can see them. It ranged from bombs to just send it to flamingos to anything you want, really. So what we're going to do today is Mark's going to play the last three holes here at Huddersfield Golf Club as though he's got a score going, as though he's playing miles better than his handicap, which would usually be the case anyway. Um, but we're going to use both golf balls, a T, a T, T, a, 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 a Titleist Pro V1X. Yes and and the Uther Uther. Shamrock. and we should say that just because Mark's wearing a Titleist cap by no means means that he's sponsored by Titleist because that isn't how the world of amateur golf works. No, it doesn't. But Titleist, if you're interested. <laughs> yeah, we'll throw that one in there, yeah. Right, Mark, I'll let you lead us off. So just play, play better ball and we're going to see what you score with them both. Okay. Guys, also, as you know, it's imperative to us that you are a part of these videos yourselves. So please make sure you do smash those comments below and let us know what golf ball are you using, how much do you spend on them, and also, should Mark make a birdie today with either ball? Anyone who's with either ball. Oh, with either good. ball. Anyone who's coming to blow birdie and is a subscriber to the channel will get invited to come and play around the golf with us here. Absolutely. So yes. there we go. Right, Mark, I'm going to let you go. So what we're we going first with, Mark, or with first, should I say? I don't know. We're going to mix it up. Mix it up. Mix and match, and it's going to be this one, not this one. And this one is. The Titleist Pro V1X, X. which leaves the other one. We Straight at the only more mass mark would be wonderful. Would be nice if I can get it on that line. It's a fairly obvious thing to aim at. <laughs> what an absolutely glorious ball flight. I'll take that one. And I'd just like to say as well that obviously you're using the Callaway today, so the yes. Epic Speed, I would never up with the names, Epic, Epic Max. Max, this one. Epic Max. Yeah. You're liking it, aren't you? I'm, I'm quite liking it, yes. Yeah. yeah. It's coming off the face nicely. Right, let's go again, Mark, with the okay, other one. so we have a Shamrock. A Shamrock, and I'll just show you this really close up. So, I mean, feel-wise, I've just done a bit of chipping with these, and it does feel... Feels right, actually, this is the Tor Icon, so it's a three-piece ball. They do a two-piece ball as well, which is a little bit cheaper. So these are $35 a dozen. $35, yeah. They do a $25 a dozen two-piece ball, which I can't imagine is quite as good. But these are still half the price of a Pro V1 for a three-piece ball. Yeah, exactly, which is, if they work, why not? Exactly. Uh, that was a poor strike. The ball went nicely, though. Yeah, it should still be okay, I think, shouldn't it? Be interesting to see where that's finished. But... Yeah, poor strike, that one. But And this is where, for me, when we do test mid-handicap golf balls, golf clubs, everything like that, it's about the consistency levels, yeah, isn't it? it is. And we know it that is. to do a proper test like this, you should hit thousands and thousands of balls, but we haven't got the time, and you guys haven't got the time either. So we're just going to have a bit of fun with it and see how much yeah. difference it makes. So, Mark, we're just trying to discuss what the balls are made out of, what the cover is, what the case layers are. 
It doesn't really tell us much. It says it's tall performance, which for $35 will take a bit of tall performance. Very what well. else does it yes, say on yeah. there? Yeah, we've got uh, outstanding distance and touch. Outstanding. They all love that, don't they? Consistent aerodynamics. That depends on how you hit it. Yeah. <laughs> Durable cover. Increased visibility and trendy design. So as a mid handicap golfer, Mark, for this price point, so $35, we're calling that £25 near enough at yeah, the minute? something like that. Probably a little bit more, but what are you expecting for that price? I would expect to, oh, well, for that price, um, I would like a ball that, that feels, feels good when I strike it. Um, has a bit of stop around the green. Yeah. I think for a more expensive ball, I'd expect a lot of stop around the green yeah. sort of thing. And would you expect exceptional distance? No, not particularly. Yeah. Um, because as mid handicap golfers, it's you, you don't consistently return the club to the ball and therefore the spin rates are always slightly different. Yeah. Sort of thing. Um, Especially so. if you hit one in the left hand roof. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we found the other ball first in the rough. I keep saying the other ball, we need to I'm not using a pun now, that is just what it's called. Uh, the, the Pro V1X is about 30 yards down there in the fairway. Probably more so down to the shot you hit, I think is fair to say. Yeah, certainly the shot. The shot was a lot better, so it's further on. Um, I mean, this would obviously be further on if it's actually on the fairway, but I still reckon it's probably 10, 20 yards yeah. back. Yeah. So we have a big shot to the green. Yeah, here. we do. Downwind though, which is always nice. Although it does mean the next two holes are into the wind, which isn't ideal. 197. Oof. So a bit of wind behind, slightly downhill. You're going to need all of that exceptional distance, Mark, aren't you? Yes, it's going to need to go well. Whoa, got underneath that one. Safe. Just a difficult lie, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah. It was sitting out a lot higher than I thought it was. Just a difficult lie. Great shot with the Pro V1X, Mark. Thank you, yeah, it's, I mean, it's really nice to get this far down on the 16th. Yeah. Uh, so we're using the Clover balls at the minute. And if we look here, you can see that we have quite a few different ones. We have a box of donuts. We have Hit Bombs Tour, Pina, Lucky Clover, which we have. Which one would you be tempted to have there, Mark? Flamingos? Watermelons? Just send it? Probably flamingos. Yeah, a good fan of flamingos, yeah. Nature's beautiful bird. What have we got in here? It's 140. Downwind, firm green, 9 iron? 9 iron. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Sandy. Oh dear. Sandy one. Well, struck it well again though. I mean, yeah. it's funny, we're not really here to review the Pro V1, are we? Because we all know that the Pro V1's pretty much one of the best balls you can buy. Yeah, exactly. It's, uh, so what do we get with this ball? So this is quite close, isn't it? So there should be a bit of spin and stop on I this. Hope, that's what we would hope that's for. what we're hoping for. Shall I go up to the green and measure the spin? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Right guys, so I'm up here on green cam and we're going to see if Mark's shot with the other ball does get that nice soft landing bounce. It's got about 120, so it should be about the right yardage. Struck that exceptionally well by the look of it. I can't see it. There. Not bad. Not bad. A little bit long, but not bad. So the greens are quite firm, but as you can see, it's pitched here, which I'll get in a second, and run out a little bit, which for this time of year with hard greens isn't too bad with a budget golf ball. It had the stop mark, it was just a little bit too long. Yeah, it felt very nice off the face. Yeah? Yeah. Right, the Pro V1X is in the bunker. Ooh, a bit of a sandy shot. Always fun. <laughs> Oh. Not your best. It's out though. 
flew a little bit. So we've had three each far. mark with the balls. Hmm? Three each so far? Yeah. Yeah. That's a lovely touch. Am I being tempted to put that one myself, Mark? Yeah. Down there. Just need to be a bit firmer that yep. one, didn't it? So we've got this for a bogey with the Pro V1X. And two putts for a bogey with the other ball. And a lot of this is going to come down to Mark's shot selection, Mark's shot technique, the, how he actually pulls the shot off. Have you got any, um, any thoughts on... Um, how confident the balls make you feel? Well, I'm, pers I'm personally playing with the, the Titleist because it's the ball that I play with. Yeah. Um, I don't have a problem with the ball, you know. It's yeah. the ball, anything that goes wrong is, is me. Yeah. Um, with it. Uh, this one, so far I've thought, well, it's a new ball, let's see what happens. Mm. And to be honest, it's worked quite nicely. Yeah. What a lovely roll on that. It's a bit firm. It's a bit firm. Ooh. Wow. I did really enjoy the feedback of the four-leaf clover going end over end, and that's a big thing about these balls. So the idea is that there is a big logo on either side of the ball, so you can just spot it yeah. very, very quickly. A bit like the tailor-made picks, really, but Mark, quite, we've left ourselves some work here for these bogeys. a soft feel off the, off the, the yeah. face of the club there. Wonderful. Great five, that, off that drive. Well yeah. tidied up. Nice ball. A bit of a tame one. Well, that's one up to the other. Well done. So very well scrambled there for Mark, I think, on that hole, especially with the second ball, the other ball. Um, and a lot of this is going to come down to, like I said, how Mark plays. But I do think it's important that you test golf balls out on the golf course and not just... Because you got fitted for the... Um, the pings. The pings ball, the golf ball, the... Um, and the ball, yeah. The ball, the Pro V1X. Um, and that's great, but you also just want to put it head to head on the course and see how much difference it actually makes to your score. Because if, it's, if, it's if, you if you lose a lot of golf balls, that's generally what people are going to be thinking, isn't it? Yes. How, how much difference yeah. does it make to my score? That's right. Exactly. Right, par three. Back flag. Should be about 170, I would think, maybe a little bit more. 176. Oof. Which are we going first? Are we going other ball first this time? Oh, we'll, we'll do Mr. Mr. Rother, Mr. Ruther. Ruther. Oh, be a hole in one. Get a left. Lovely shot. Well. Wow. That flew gonna, very nicely. Going to be flag high, that isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah. It is. Very nice. Sounded good. Sounded soft enough. Yeah. Yeah. It did. It did. Caught that well. I enjoyed the strike. Let's have a similar one. Perfect club, I think, as well. Yeah, it seems to be, doesn't it? Oh. Good strike again, just a little bit leaky. The strike was good, yeah. yeah. Yeah, just moved, moved too much. Let's go and find it. And again, an interesting one in, I don't think we have lost that ball. I think you'll find it and potentially where the flag is, you could go up and down and make a three. But if you were to lose it, would you be more bothered losing it at 44, 49 pound a dozen or 25 pound a dozen? I guess that's... Yeah. I think it's, a, it's, it's, yes, you're right. It's more of a bother of losing it because it's an expensive ball that's in there. For yeah. You. Um, it added to the fact that, you know, in my head anyway, it's a better ball. Yeah. So why on earth have I lost it? Yeah. You know, yeah. what a poor shot I played. Wasn't a great I've shot. I've lost that ball. You are, I can see it to be fair, but it's, as I know you mean. To, as opposed to the youth ball. Maybe it's a case of... Uh, and okay, it's landed I, over there. I'll, yeah. I'll have a second shot. I used to have a thing where I never used to want to get a brand new Pro V1 or TP5 or out of the box and play it in a tournament off the first tee because I didn't like the idea of it. And maybe it's a case of that. Maybe with the cheaper ball, you, you've got less pressure, less stress. You're just free to hit it, loosen up and actually hit a better shot. Yeah. 
Yes. Potentially. Yeah, possibly. Right, let's see if you can get up and down. I'm, I'm going to go green cam again, Mark. Are you? Okay. So the cheaper ball, the other ball, is just about flag high for Mark there. And the Pro V1 just a little bit further back down that right hand side. Again, probably not a great reflection on the ball, but a good reflection on mid handicap golf and what golf balls you use for what price. Green cam. Nice. Yeah, lovely shot, Mark. Chance. And not an easy high handicap or mid handicap sort of shot, that. Definitely not, no. Because you're a long way back, you've got the bunker close up against the green, and the flag's got, only just over the edge. And you've got some idiot with a camera stood right next to you, just in so case you... So you know you've got to hit it big to get over the bunker. Yeah. But not so big, it goes flying off but the other side. you've left yourself a chance with that one, and that's all you really want from there. See if we can be a bit more attacking, maybe, with this. No, we're not going to get so much spin on this one. No, not from the mossy lie. <laughs> but again, you can easily tell it's your ball, and I do like that about a ball. That's why I, I do enjoy the picks because of that. So Yes, yeah. Ooh, good effort. Just a little bit right, wasn't it? Yeah, the distance well, was yeah, good. Yeah, that was port strike. Two par putts, though. Port Can't strike. complain with that. Would this be a shot hole for you, Mark? Yes. Yep. So potentially two, uh, two three pointers if you do make these. Two three pointers. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Mm. Got it. Oh. Very close. You know what, Mark? Add. It's two Stableford points. And you, Add's too slow, wasn't and it? And you thought you lost it, so you saved yourself four pounds there. That's fine. Let's see if we can make a three-pointer and go two up with the cheaper Indeed. other ball. Indeed. What's the alignment aid like on, on the other balls, Mark? It's well, it's pretty solid. I mean, it's without without adding anything extra to it. Yeah, it's, it's know, just it's a, a good solid black line. Yeah. It's, it's easily almost Pro V1 esque of the the previous Pro V ones. Yes. Oh, skirted by, halved in fours. Probably a disappointing four with that, that one as well. Dis that was disappointing, More so. yeah. So the other is still one up. We've got a par five left to play. Interesting. Any, um, what would you say about it so far, price-wise and... Um, it's very competitive. Yeah. Price, extremely competitive. Yeah. And, and ball on ball, I think it's pretty good. Yeah. I think the big brands are going to be... Losing a tiny bit of market share, aren't they, in the coming years with these so. cheaper brands coming through? Yeah, yeah, because yeah, there's there's several of them now that are yeah. that are out there. I mean, there's this Uther, there's the Speed, there's sorry, the Seed, Seed, yeah, Kirkland. There's yeah, there's, there's, yeah. A, there's a few there's a few that are that are out there now. Now this is where potentially bang for buck could come into its own a little bit more. Par five, can we get a good drive down the hill and potentially attack the green for two, or is it going to be restricted to a three-shotter? Yeah, yeah. Will be interesting. Well, you've got to get it a long way over the top, haven't you? For, yeah, the ball should be running though at this time of year. a chance of getting to the green in two. Yeah. Pro V1X, isn't it? Back to the Pro V1X to kick us off with. On this one. So, as you can see, it's a long way uphill. Yeah. And there's a, there's a post on the top. <laughs> Not bad. It's not going to be over there, but no. in play. Poor swing. Poor swing. On that one. Right. Mr. Pendragon is next. <laughs> <laughs> Great shot. Yeah, much better shot. You have definitely struck or played better with the cheaper ball, and if that is a factor of yeah, maybe oddly, not being oddly, as oddly, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Let's go and see where they are. So interestingly, Mark's just said there that he's yet to hit any as you'd really like to. Yes. Out right. the out the middle of the club. Just looking at the at the, the driver face there, the marks that are obviously on it um, are all towards the toe from central point. 
yeah um rather than anything there's, there's nothing in the middle or closer to the, the and do you feel place. that potentially that could be a little bit of a message for this video for mid handicap golfers like yourself so people who don't know mark 12 handicap yeah essentially to, well it's nine what is it exactly so because it's changed hasn't it with the new well, it has. It was 9.8 last time we spoke, and it's 10.0 now. Yeah, <laughs> and I then, lost one of them. then because of stroke here, you, what does that relate to? Puts, puts me up to 12. Yeah, which is yeah. what you were. And so, if you're not hitting the middle of the club face very often, I don't know. Would you maybe put yourself under the pressure of using an expensive golf ball when you feel like you're playing well, and not worry about? I don't know. It's a funny one. Get in the comments below and let it me is, know. It, it is an odd. It is an odd one. I mean, I think. I know we're looking at the balls here, but just looking back at the club, the club face itself, it's obviously forgiving enough that it's, it's hit the ball quite well. Yeah. So we're looking for a ball mark and it's not the cheap one, is it? No, it's not. Yeah, I didn't, I know oh, I didn't, God. didn't strike very well at all. Yeah. Still in play though. And still not four pound lighter. No, still in play. So hybrid straight over that buggy sign. Uh, yep. Yeah. So, is the shot? Yep. Awesome golf shot. Yeah, on the right hand side. Yeah, yeah maybe a I tiny can... bit right, but not uh, not bad at all that one. So here's the post we told you about, and that is so unlucky to hang on that. Yeah, just 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 stopped on the top there, didn't it? It's just probably going to stop you going for that in two as well, isn't it? Yeah, really. The other boy can see, well, we can see it right down there near the big tree. Let's see if we can get a birdie mark, get these people coming for a game of golf with us. Oh dear. Yeah, it's okay. Well, before you get into that. Oh well. It is quite a wide layup down there anyway, isn't it? it? Is. So I think you're it okay is. really. Don't you just love mid handicap golf? Brilliant. Saying that. You do. It's better than what I'd be playing like today. So walking down here, Mark, we've got a chance of two birdies, a couple of pitch shots on if we can avoid that tree. I guess the real question is, would you feel comfortable using this ball in a medal in a stable fit in a match play? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. From what I've seen so far of it. Quite happy to use it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's performed very well. Yeah? I but only if it's got flamingos on it. <laughs> well, no, I'll use, I'll use shamrocks to start with. Yeah, we've got the melons as well, but they're only a two-piece ball. So but If I was to buy one, then I'd make sure it, was, it had flamingos on. Yeah. Right, now, we'll all see this is a tricky little shot. I could attempt to play under, but it's very dodgy. Yeah. So I'm going to have to go over. Hey-ho. Hey-ho, have a go. Oh, I'll tell you what, be good. It's not big enough. That's fine. Oh, no, that's all right. Yeah, you're not going right. to play much better than that, Mark. That that's stopped right. on a dime as well, didn't it? It did, yeah. 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 Very Given nice. it was a sort of long grass, so yeah. there shouldn't have been an awful lot of spin on it, sort of thing. So probably about 20 feet for a birdie there, oh, which nice. is nice. And then we've got the Pro V1X here. Probably a little bit too close to the tree, but... Oh, how good is this? Oh, Mark, that's frighteningly good. Great shot. That one, me. Great <laughs> shot. Okay. So it all comes down to this. The budget alternative other ball. We've got 20 feet for birdie, maybe 25. And the Pro V1X, we've got 10 feet for birdie. You think it's going to drop right? Yeah. Oh, good pace, just a little bit low. Mark, that is in my circle, so I shall give you that one you. for a par. Look at that, that's a good, could be a thumbnail, that actually, a little shamrock in there. And this for the birdie, to bring it back to level and to invite two subscribers or a subscriber and their mate for a game with us here. Oh, it's short every time we leave those short. But that is a victory in the game for the cheap alternative, if it ever focuses there, 
other golf ball. Um, what would you say, Mark, to round that up? I think it's a very nice little golf ball. Yeah. It's played very well. I've played well with it. Yeah. Um, yes, I can see, I can tell that it's not as expensive mm -hmm. as the Pro V1X. Yeah. Um, the, the, the outer, the outer covering is, is, doesn't feel as soft, soft on it, but it's come off the club face nicely. Mm. It's flown well. It's spun well. It's stopped. What's the what's the not like about it? Absolutely, and you know what? For me to round oh, there we go. for me to round things up as well, I think there's not many kind of budget golf balls coming to the market now. I know Liam from Golf Mates did a video the other day asking if they're all kind of made in the same factory and then just kind yeah. of stamped some yeah. things on. You've got Vice, you've got Seed, you've got other, you've got Kirkland, you've got so many budget premium golf balls. Yes. I think it's great. I think that's what golf needs. People should be able to get good products for cheap. So right. uh, I'm going to leave it on there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Really hope you have enjoyed that. Um, level. No, not level. Other one. Other one. Other one. Yeah. So there you go. Um, I can't really categorically say it's better on that basis, but it won. So yeah. guys, smash that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Leave us a like. And apart from that, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Oh, be a hole in one. Go left. Lovely shot. You have definitely struck or played better with